Now thank we all our God with heart and mind and voices whom from our mother's womb blessed us extensively. We give you praise today that we are celebrating God's goodness 2017. Thank you, Lord, that this is made possible. Several persons who say Happy New Year are no more. But well, here we are in this harvest and thanksgiving celebration. Be glorified, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. This time is for the sermon. May the preacher be anointed. May the word of God come with power and grace and intensity. May there be impartation that will provoke us not only to live a life of thanksgiving, but to function like that on daily basis. And before the end of this year, benefits will overtake everybody. We vow, Lord, to return the glory back to you. In Jesus' name, if you are happy, shout the loudest, Amen, somebody. If you are the happiest person, wave your hand and shout, Praise the Lord. Before you sit down, join me in this song, very popular song, but very good. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So love he the world that he gave us his son. Who he gave his life and atonement for sin and open the life gate that all may go in. Oh, praise, praise the Lord, Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory. Stanza 2, studio, give me stanza 2. Oh, perfect redemption. Thou portions of blood to every believer, the promise of God, the vilest offender who truly believe the moment from Jesus. Somebody say, praise the Lord, oh praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice, oh come to the Father, to Jesus the Son, and Bring stanza three. Bring stanza three. He has done great things. He has taught us great things. He has done and great our rejoicing through Jesus the Son. But pure and higher and greater will be a wonder I was when Jesus somebody lift your hands and say praise the Lord praise the Lord let the earth hear his voice praise the Lord praise the Lord let the people rejoice oh come to the Father through Jesus the Son and again Sing the chorus the again. The chorus one more time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. 
to the Father, to Jesus, the Son, and gave him the glory. Great things he has done. Somebody celebrate Jesus for the great things he has done in your life. That's why we sang the song to celebrate, to appreciate his love. In Jesus' name, we worshiped. Amen. Please be seated. God bless your heart. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Brethren, I'm the happiest person this morning. You're not happier than myself. <laughs> Amen. When we told the Harvest Committee that we're going to be standing here this morning, especially we're going to sit inside our own altar to do this. believe because it seemed impossible. But you know, last Sunday, I preached a sermon. What was the topic of my sermon last Sunday? What was the topic of my sermon last Sunday? Attempting the impossible. And we have attempted it. And here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Some of us live here every day by 2 a.m. Some live 11 o'clock. Some live 12 midnight. Uh, myself, sometimes I will sleep and sleep and come out and see that because we were working day and night to so see that the work is done. And we thank God for everything. Glory be to the name of the Lord. I want to preach what I topic this morning. My hundredfold is a must. My hundredfold is a must. The Bible says, give and it shall be good measure. Pressed, shaken, and shall men pour to your bosom. People of God, the promise of God is one hundred fold. The Bible also said a sower went out to sow a seed. Some fell by the wayside and the birds of the air came and picked up those seeds that were sown. They couldn't produce results. Some fell on rocky places. They quickly germinated but because they could not find a very strong base or where their roots could enter. It wasn't long. They were scorched and they died. They couldn't produce fruit. Some seed fell on tongues. Ogu, tongues. They actually germinated, grew, but the tongues, the pressure from the tongues, they couldn't survive the competition. And after a while, before they could even produce fruit, they all, they all died. Whereas some fell on good soil. Those that fell on good soil, did not fall on good soil in the same capacity. The Bible said they fell on good soil, they sprang up and produced fruit. But these fruits were not in the same range. It was some 30, some 60, and some 100 fold. I want to believe every one of you, your life is fertile. But what you will do today will determine whether you will, we will come to a level of 30 or 60 or hundredfold. But for me and for some of us here, my hundredfold is a must. Stand up and shout it loud. My hundredfold is a must. Take your seat. Amen. Uh, don't settle for the minimum. Don't settle for the average. Go for the overflow. Go for the overflow. Go for the overflow. I will show you from scriptures. Hear me, in everything we do in life, it comes in levels and ranges. If you read Ezekiel 47, the Bible said the angel measured a thousand cubits and asked Ezekiel to come. Ezekiel came. The water he walked in became ankle deep. The angel measured off another 1,000 cubits and asked Ezekiel to come. He came. The water became knee deep. The angel measured off another 1,000 cubits and asked Ezekiel to come. He came. He became a waist deep. And the angel measured yet another 1,000 cubits. And asked Ezekiel to come. He came. 
he became a river he could not swim which means some persons will receive a blessing that is ankle deep show me your ankle some don't know which one is ankle now some will receive blessings that are knee deep show me your knee some will receive blessings that are waist deep show me your waist and some will receive what overwhelming a river they couldn't swim my question is this the same river can be ankle deep can be knee deep can be waist deep can be overwhelming why will you settle for the ankle or the knee or the waist deep and i came to say this morning for everyone in this church that had so much loved god and lavish your lifetime and resource for the work of god hundredfold is a guarantee your amen this morning is looking for accommodation. I say, hundredfold is a guarantee. Ah, yeah. uh, you want me to talk like an evangelist this morning? No, I came with the spirit of a pastor to this morning's service. This is not a crusade. So I'm going to talk as gentle as ever. Praise the Lord. If I'm communicating with your hand like that. Same way, in the same realm, the Bible said in the book of Second Kings, chapter 2, don't read it, just look up, I'll give you where to read, that this man called Elijah was about to leave Elisha. And they took a journey from a place known as Gilgal. That's where Elijah was staying. Elijah was a professor of, uh, of the Old Testament. He, was, he teaches Old Testament in the school of the prophets and they had it those days. So when he was about to be taken, by the way, by the time God was about to take Elijah, Elijah wasn't an old man. Old man, I mean, he's very old, like Moses. No. He was in between old and young. The Bible didn't tell us his age accurately, but by the time God wanted to take him away, God saw Elijah that he was no more good to stay here. They became so close that God decided to take him home in his body. Elijah, we are too close. We are so much friend that I can't leave you here. Come, come, let's stay together with your whole body. He raptured before rapture. Mm-hmm. He raptured before rapture. Praise God. And he, that man began to make a journey. And only one man followed him. His name was uh, Elisha. He moved from Gilgal. They got to Gilgal. He said to Elisha, stay in Gilgal. God has sent me to Bethel. Elisha said, as long as the Lord live and your soul live, I will never leave you. The company of the prophets in Gilgal came and said to Elisha, hey, God will take your master from you today. He said, I know, but you shut up. Nobody was interested in the next level, only Elisha. I pray somebody here will desire to go to the next level. Yeah. Nobody was interested in growing spiritually. You know, some of us in Igbo land, one of the problems we have in Igbo land is somebody who is making money and feels that he has made enough money will, will, will lose interest. And that's why we, when we want to fall, we fall too much. If God has given you one billion naira, if only you, you are enjoying the money, you and your family. That money was a wasted investment. Hello? If God give you one billion naira now, and you have built a lot of estates, you've established for yourself, because Igbo man believes that you establish for yourself, for your children, for your children, children, for your children, children, children. Some of the buildings we are making today, our children will sell it. I'm sorry, but it's true. One man took me to his company. He said to me, this company, I am the fourth buyer. The fourth buyer. The original one bought the land, built the factory. When he died, the children sold to the next buyer. He bought, lived for many years, died, sold the next. I'm the fourth buyer. Pray for me. My children will not sell so that the next generation will enjoy it. I won't call the name of the place. Somebody built about three duplexes here in Onicha. I won't call the name of the street because you know who I'm talking about. His children are all living in Canada and America. They called their father and they said, we are three sons. You built us three duplexes from where you and our mom are living. Please, minus where you and your mom are, 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 are living. Sell the three. We will never live in this area. Sell the three and uh, take care of yourself. We are okay where we are. So whom did he labor all that for? They even, one of them has married the Canadian and said to him, we are not coming back here again. If I die, bury me in Canada, in Ontario. I'm not coming back here. And he meant it. On one Canada, we there. 
So who will occupy his dupe? I'm not asking you not to invest. But the greatest labor you can labor in life is the labor Elijah labored in Elisha. May all God give you be kingdom oriented and service to humanity. Say neighbor, everything God give you, the one that could settle you, any leftover should be kingdom oriented and service to humanity. That's what really makes sense. Amen. So Elijah took Elisha from where? From Gilgal to Bethel. When they got to Bethel, Elijah said to Elisha, Stay in Bethel. God has sent me to Jericho. He said, As long as you live, I will follow you. How many of you are ready to go with God every inch all the way until you come to 100% guarantee? That's a very big question here. When they got to Jericho, he said, ah, okay, you are in Jericho now, wonderful place. Said, no, God has sent me to Jordan. He followed him to Jordan. It was when they got to Jordan, the third level of blessing, that the man of God, Elijah, took off his mantle and folded it and struck Jordan and he parted into two. Now, Elisha has never seen that before since he began to follow Elijah. Jordan has never parted before. We only hear it in history that he parted when the children of Israel were trying to, to cross. This was the second time he is parting. And Elisha saw it. He said, if I had stopped in Gilgal, will I say this? If he had stopped in Bethel, will he experience that? If he had stopped in Jericho, will he experience that? Touch your neighbor and say, you are just starting. So you are take off and fly. In your quick, you say, your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Receive a divine gear. Take off. And don't stop. Until you get there. Shout hallelujah if you believe in that. When they crossed. Elijah said to Elisha. Very soon I will go. What do you want from me? <laughs> Elisha said oh boy. This is it. I have come to 100 fold. This thing you carry. Give me two. Hmm. Two. Which means, whatever divided Jordan, give it to me times two. I'm seeing Elisha as a very serious Igbo man from Anambra State. <laughs> or from Nnewi. <laughs> no, not Nnewi, also belong. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> and you know, the man of God said, if you see me when I'm taking, you will get it. But when you have paid the price, there is nothing much you have left to be to do to get the blessing. Amen. Amen. And finally, finally, did he get it? 100 fold. By the time he got to River Jordan, he said, where now is the Lord, the God of Elijah? Mm. What happened? The water opened. And people said, the spirit of Elijah is now on Elisha. Hmm. A young man came to me and said, Reverend Oko, I don't have money to give you. But I've been doing business since my August told me. I've been so poor and I've suffered so much for years now. I can't even make any headway. I don't have money even to sow a seed or to make a vow to God. What do I even do to provoke God to show me some love? I'm born again. I'm spirit filled. I'm serving Jesus. And it's been years. I can't even make any headway. People are laughing at me. I said, I don't have... I said, I said to him, as, as, I'm, as you're talking to me now, the spirit said to me, you should watch my car for six months and you will have a breakthrough. <laughs> he didn't ask me to pray for you. Come and wash my car for six months. And he started washing my car from that day. He washed it from July to December. I saw him two weeks ago. No, last week, Friday. He said, Daddy, I'm blessed. <laughs> when the young Igbo man say, I'm blessed. And he said, Daddy, I'm coming to see you. I said, come too fast. No, no, church. All my sons and daughters who call me on phone. Anytime they call me on phone from anywhere in the world. Daddy, how are you? I'm fine. Am I speaking to Reverend Oko? Yes. Who are you? I'm so so and so. Calling from where? Japan. Praise the Lord. That is the next agreement. I told you, Sir, Sir Johnson, on Tuesday, 
Ndi na ime plastering. Nani na roro na altar. We needed to pay them serious money. Uh, there was no money around to pay them. At least some 250,000 should go into that thing. There was no money to pay them. And I took my phone. I began to call my sons. And before, before Saturday, they gave me 250. And we paid. <laughs> and uh, we're happy. We're happy. Uh, so if I call you and ask you to give me money, don't be angry, eh? Until I retire, we'll be happy. Praise God. You go, who can know? I can hear for the road, fellow. Hey, a woe. Paul no moon, I'm telling you, sometimes I cry out of joy because of what God is doing. More soggy, more soggy. You can no more be poor. If I'm the way, any draw the men again. Monstrogi, as far as you remember, Church of Transfiguration, even if you don't want to prosper, it's too late. You must prosper. It's too late. It's too late. If the devil was fighting you before, Keda Bonamado, it's over. It will say, go big mistake. Okay, stop, okay, before now. But from this harvest, take your hundredfold. Uh, for the, I wish now my former the hundred I believe you found it go now. Take your hundred fold because whatever you make to happen for God, God will make it to happen for you. From now on, listen to me carefully. You go to na shade digi man you realize after that day you are still a millionaire. I said hundredfold. My own. I don't know about you. My own is a must. When I have four young men, four young men approach me from married. Let me summarize this and I will read the scripture and I will stop. From married young men, four approach me. Okay, all of you come. Come. All of you must enter all. Come over here, sir. Chips this way. Okay. Okay. Stand. Stand, sir. Thank you. Okay. Um, you will be Jehovah. Come. Stand here. You are Jehovah and Kusunile Pendiara, Amama, Obrankete, Opota, Ojiji. Be an observer. Don't be angry, be Satan. <laughs> uh, somebody has to act that, that bad guy now <laughs> yeah, but you're not saying that don't no worry but you're black you know but don't worry <laughs> it's okay praise God okay let's assume this is you know you say give and it shall be what good call this man good measure God this man pressed down. God this man shaking together. God this man running over. Amen. Did you hear him? He said, Amen. <laughs> Shall men pour to your bosom? Shall men, men pour to your bosom? But this man here is ready to tell you if you give, you will become poor. I want to ask you this question, people. How many on earth, can you remember anybody who became poor because God finished his money? Somebody talk to me. Now, God finished your money and you became a poor man. 
Can you tell me of anybody you know on planet Earth? He became a poor man because God with the reggae finish Shikoro. My God. So, so God is not owing anybody. If you say God is not owing anybody, raise your hand. Let me see. What are you doing? Some are saying he's owing me. If God is owing you, God is owing you. Raise your hand. What you go? Oh, we will rack here. Can you do it? Chile get you go? Will you kill you? Koriaka, don't go to your jugwa. Koriaka, don't go to your jugwa. But get this. How many of you in this church want to be in good measure? Good measure. How many want to be impressed down? Yes. Come on, your press down. How many want to be in shaking together? I want to try to put your hand How many want to be in running over? Which means 100%. Watch this. This is ankle deep. This is knee deep. This is waste deep blessing. This is overflow. How many of you want to just remain in ankle deep? Who want to graduate to waste deep? What about knee deep? What about waist deep? How many in this service has a desire in their heart to come to overflow? Beautiful. I know I'm asking you all this. This is Gilgal. Gilgal level. But Elisha said, I'm not going to stay here. From Gilgal to Bethel. You're not with me. From Bethel level. Elisha said, I won't stay in Bethel level. To where? To Jericho. Jericho was a very powerful city, full of wealth. But somebody said, I can't stay in Jericho. They moved and came to Jordan. It was here that 100 fold manifested. Who wants to go to Jordan? I don't know here. It's Jordan. This guy here we make up his mind that you can't move from where you are to the next level. He will do everything to discourage you. There are some members of this church who are, who are agents of discouragement. They will not do and they will tell others. My God, my God. They won't give up, but they will tell others never to give. I don't blame you. You forgot Anglican Church, the Kabarak. Soldier. Soldier come. Soldier go. Barak remain. Nine no Israel stayed here for seven good years and left. Me, my own will be shorter and I will go. And another man in a very short time will take over from me. That is how Anglican church is wrong. No pastor stays there for Abraham General of Asia. In I and me all tie, he got bishop's throne. No matter how drunk a pastor is, he cannot sit down there because bishop never in the spirit. For that reason, while I'm here, Ngamu Kim, if you don't like me, Endure. When another man comes, you can like. You will flow. But stop spoiling the deal with your mouth. 
I'm sorry to say that. Ogwe reform the no one are the man. He meant that. Wa. He may mo. Wa. He tibu he tibu. Wa. He debe debe. Wa. But we cannot, because of your mouth, stop serving our God. Like I was your son. Okay, I'm not touching you because you're the devil. I'm just giving an illustration. This man would, would use any human being. Some people will say, if it is not me, a man walk, who are you? Obu no obrom, a man mie, o nyekebo. God can dispense anybody and pick up anybody for his own purpose. If they don't ask me to do it, it cannot be done. It can be done without you. Because everybody is more than you. Touch your neighbor. Say neighbor. Even if you don't do. And we are making too many mistakes. We shall improve with time. Everything God asks you to do is a privilege. It's not your right. If I'm communicating with your hand like that. Help me say to your neighbor, you are not better than anybody. It's just a privilege. Don't stand on the way. If you don't want to do anything for God, don't stand on the way of those who are doing Somebody ran to my house and said, Reverend, Reverend, I was coming to your house. I was in Keke. A member of your church was saying that you called the husband who was abroad and begged, your, and begged the husband to give you three million naira. I said, I didn't beg anybody for three million anyway. But I'm not worried because Reverend Mike Oko is a very popular name. People can talk about it. You're married three million. I don't bother myself. Gossip all you want. None of my business. But remember, as you talk against God's prophets, so shall your trouble multiply. If you don't want to participate, no long way. Bring your service. No. Bring your time and money. No. Encourage any narrow. Why? Bros, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. i I'm telling you. i you. thank you. She can assume you know, thank you for your commitment. My call drop easy. Chairman on both for the big assay on total. Oh, yeah, who are the good day, who are the good day, who are the good day. In Afonia, Sagor, oh, yeah, who are the good day, or quarter and auto. Mother legate me, rap business and a labor. Oh, yeah, one phone. Need to go and in a row or connection, yeah, or time to go here. I mean, I will only now. Or do a fellow. Actually, no, Jidefa, I am good to Sagor who can all. Manuel and Aquia say, Oh, of course, Mobro Nibu, or Aponafia, and Reba for nothing. Anna, he, Buba, and no Kotune, Buba. You want to be a Buba? Be a Buba. You want to be a Buba, and Kelly. You may find it very serious, and I have to say it in this kind of sermon. This man called Lucifer can use anything to discourage you. Tap your neighbor and say, Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Don't allow anybody to use his mouth and destroy your love for Chineke. Release your heart and serve God. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you're happy, make the loudest joyful noise unto God in this house. God bless your heart. As I begin to tie the knot on this sermon, get this clear. The Bible says, give and it shall be what? Given unto you. 
How much? How much? Ankle deep. Gilgal. From Gilgal to Bethel. Bethel to Jericho to you choose which level you belong. Which level you want to operate for the rest of your life. But God is not the one holding your blessing. Your blessings are in the hands of men. Shall men pour. Shall men pour. Shall men pour. But it is God that we move men to pour. Am I communicating? So for God to move men to pour, you have to be moved to lavish on God. Am I communicating here? You have to be moved to do what? To lavish on God. And God will now move men, move men to pour all this on you. Mm. Abaro. In Genesis 26 where we read, in a year, everything was dry. How about if I go to that? Genesis 26 verse 1. Studio, give it to me. Genesis 26 verse 1. Everything was dry. Famine, hunger, poverty in the land. Read it, everybody. Now, there was what? Famine. Where? In, besides the earlier famine of Abraham's time, and Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines in Gera, verse 2. The Lord appeared to Isaac and said, do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land where I tell you to give. Touch your neighbor say, even if things are hard, stand your ground. Don't compromise. It will soon be over. Touch your neighbor say, neighbor, don't look at anybody and be discouraged. If things are tough, it was tough before. It will be over one day. Stay with God. Stay with God. Osiya, do not go down to where? To Egypt. Don't compromise. Stay with God. 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 What? Stay with God. What? Stay with God. Verse 12. Verse 12. Okay, let's read verse 3. Verse 3, verse 3, verse 3, everybody. Stay in this land for a while. For a while. And I will be, and I will, and for to your descendants, I will give all this land. And I will confirm the oath I swore to your father, Abraham. Tap your neighbor and say, anything God promised you, get ready for the result. Shout it loud. Anything God gave you as a promise, it will follow you, your children, and your grandchildren. Verse 12. See the verse 12. I'm going to run off with that. Read. Isaac planted crops in that land. And that same year, he reaped how much? How much? Be on your feet, everybody. Be on your feet. We read it again very loud. Read. One, two, go. Isaac planted crop in that land. And the same year, reaped so how many of you are going for the hundredfold this morning? That same year. Which year? This year. That same year. How many days do we have to be in 2018? Less than, less than 60 days to be in 2018. But for the remaining less than 60 days, your hundredfold is possible. Yeah. See, your amen showed me you don't believe. You are just saying amen to please me. I say your hundredfold is a reality. It's a reality. It's a reality. God cannot lie. If God says hundredfold, he means hundredfold. That same year. The time he planted was in a famine time. In a what? 
a farmer in time. In a farmer in time, should people harvest enough? But for Isaac, he harvested. Why? God blessed him. As I'm still standing here, I want to get some people who will kneel on this altar for the first time today. We're going to do what we call harvest extra or harvest before harvest. And it's a cash harvest of 10,000. It's not too much. Only 100 persons to lay a foundation today on this altar. We want to lay a foundation on this altar today being harvest. So 100 of you will just bring 10,000 naira, which will be added to your group. To your group. And if you're one of them, just come to me. You won't touch my hand. Touch my shoulder. Then you go. You must touch my shoulder. Then you will go to the altar. One. Don't push me down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Two. Eight. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 